at 5.30, climate activists building scaffolding on train tracks in the middle of the night to stop a coal train in Harvard. Those demonstrators were on that scaffolding for hours, keeping the train from reaching its destination. Well, police say they had no choice but to arrest some of them. Here's WBZ's Christina Hager. As long as this load of coal stays on the train, it isn't burning and isn't polluting. We did stop it for a really long time. That feels good. Cody Pajik, after a quick court appearance in Clinton. They refused uh, to get down despite repeated attempts. One of four protesters facing charges after admittedly climbing up onto this 16-foot scaffolding their group called No Coal, No Gas managed to place on the tracks in Harvard. Perfectly timed to block this overnight train full of coal headed to the Merrimack Generating Station in Bow, New Hampshire for between seven and eight hours. So the decision was made to call in the uh, technical rescue team. We had flaggers, we had lanterns, we had we placed a call to the emergency dispatch saying that we were on, that there was an obstruction here. And so I have a lot of confidence in our ability to keep one another safe. And stay focused do, do, do what must be done. on their goal. The end goal is to, is to close this plant. The police chief says first responders may send the protesters a bill for resources spent. Cody Pajik says for him, worth the hassle. You know, I wouldn't be able to live with myself knowing what's going on with our environment, with the world, and not taking direct action. This is the fourth time this group has blocked New Hampshire bound coal cargo and protesters say they will do it again. We reached out to the company that owns the Merrimack generating station but got no response. In Clinton, Christina Hager, WBZ News.